uh, what are some other examples of um, uh, rolling aggressive that people should be aware of? Because maybe they don't know that they're doing it and uh, they should know that. Like, uh, choking. I'm have- oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead, Joe. I was going to say, like, have control of your limbs. Like, uh, like obviously it's contact sport accidents happen. People get bopped around. Like, you know, you get need, like I got a bloody lip from last night. I got an accidental elbow, but if you're hitting me with an elbow or a knee more than two times in a roll, you're doing something wrong. You're flailing. You're not controlling your limbs. Just like we're going there for most people. Like it's a hobby or it's a sport we're trying to do. I'm not trying to have an MMA fight on the mats. Stop hitting me. And if you can't not hit me, you don't have enough control of your limbs. You're rolling too spastic. You need to take it down a notch and get some control. Exactly. What about you, Mike? What, what are some good examples? I'd say uh, choking across the face, you know, like a rear naked choke and they're, they're right across your teeth. I know there's a saying anything below the eyes is the neck, but I mean, I think that counts for tournaments and not for a uh, hobbyist rolling all the time. Right. Which is something that happened to me recently. I, you know, I tapped and I don't really, You know, it's not a big deal, but, you know, in my head, I was like, that could have been a bit lower and they could have fought maybe a bit more to get under my neck and been more technical rather than just, you know, crank over my teeth. Yeah, I think that's a great example. I think I think they touch it's touched on in the later in the thread, too, but we'll touch on it now. So there's such a difference. And I think this is a big problem in the sport is that it's not differentiated enough, but there is such a difference between what recreation, what what we should expect from uh, recreational uh, practitioners and what we should expect from competitors. So if it's like competition class, yeah, like anything under the uh, the nose is the neck, but if it's just recreational and you're just having a good time rolling, don't choke people <laughs> uh, like uh, over their chin, like, uh, you know, try like this should be the time you're working to get underneath the neck and actually practice your technique. But, you know, in a competition or a tournament or competition class, it's different because, you just need, you need the sub and, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. Like in a competition, it doesn't matter their feelings or if they feel pain, it doesn't matter, you know, but when you're rolling just with your friends or, you know, just a recreational class, like that does, you don't, don't do that kind of stuff. It's super lame. So, you know, but the problem is people will say, again, it's fine to do, but it's not in the right context because again, because it is fine to do in the right context, not fine to do uh, in the wrong context. So, I think that's uh, extremely important, and just in general in jujitsu, that should be way be people should be made more aware of that. That there is a difference between recreational and competition because it is so like um, uh, I guess like the waters are so like muddied almost yeah. when it comes to that, and it creates a lot of confusion and like uh, yeah, lack of understanding of proper jujitsu etiquette. So yeah, I think that's a really good example. I, I, I hate like, yeah, I hate people do like just stuff that's like pain, just while I'm trying to have a good role, you know, yeah. it's like, like if we're having a hard role or whatever, yeah, I don't mind some pain. Like if it's like a higher belt, but it's like a lower belt to say like, a, you know, I give them something and they're just trying to like, you know, hurt me. It's like, you know, don't do that. 